Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're going to be doing something with the Glamour Gels from Brill Bird because I absolutely love them. So I just felt the need to do something with one of them. Um, and I'm also using Tequila Rose as my base for this design because it's just a beautiful colour. Um, I know it's a little bit early and it's not autumn yet, but I am very much an autumn person and I've been counting down the days for autumn since it finished last year. So um, I'm going to do an autumn inspired sort of design and i'm going to be using this beautiful coppery color from real bird glamour gel collection and it's number 14 from the collection it is absolutely stunning it's one of my favorite colors ever um i've painted my three um i've already made a mess of this because i've just filmed other videos but i've painted my three um display tips already i haven't painted them i've put my well my look oh, why can't i talk Somebody help me. I've put my build gel on those three nail tips. I've used Tequila Rose from the Gel Box UK subscription box. Um, and I've basically just put a coat of that on all three nails. It's just a beautiful um, neutral colour. It goes with everything and it's just stunning. So we're going to be using that. Um, I've also obviously got the Brill Bird Glamour Gel. I'm also going to be using Flexi Tape and a stamping plate. Let me just show you which plate it is. It is a Moira one. And it is plate 41 and it's called that. Um, and I'm going to be using this, this image up here, basically. So I'm going to get started. First things first, I'm going to figure out what I'm actually going to do. That would probably be the best option, first of all. <laughs> so here's what my nails look like. This one, I need to file it because I've really done a bad job of making that builder gel level. Because look, that side bit sticking out. I'm probably not even going to file it, to be honest. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of that one. I'm just going to do two nails in this video. Um, so I've decided I'm going to do... I need to just get a brush. I always make sure to have a separate brush for these Glamour Gels because they are super, super pigmented and glittery. And it's really, really tricky to clean brushes completely after you've used a Glamour Gel on them. Um, so I do have brushes specifically just for the Glamour Gel, like a, a striper um this one that i'm about to use i'll show you in a second then another one as well just so i don't contaminate any brushes that i want to use non-glitter with basically i've just got a stray hair on this brush i'm just going to chop it off before it gets in my way so this is the one that i'm using it's just out of a cheap set of brushes from amazon that i've had forever so I'm just going to take the lid off this Glamour Gel. Look how beautiful it is. It's just stunning. I can't stop looking at it. So we're going to get this and I'm going to put it down half of this nail. This nail will be like half on one side and then the next nail it will be the other half. Just so they're not both completely the same. But these are just so easy to use. They are absolutely stunning. And they're not really like glitter as such. They're flakes in colour gel basically so the gel's almost like a like a jelly sort of effect and then the flakes obviously just make it stand out it's just brilliant so i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure while i do the other nail so i did that side on that nail i'm going to do the opposite side on this one like i said just trying to get it as straight as possible You keep checking it from both angles because it can look straight in one angle and then turn it around and it'll look really wonky. So I'm just making sure to pay attention to that basically. At the same time, I'm just trying to remember to pay attention to my phone for when it goes out of focus randomly for no reason. There you go, I think that's about right to be fair. So I'm just going to have a look at the other one to see if I've covered as much of the nail. Yeah, I think it's about the same. So I'm gonna dub I'm gonna cure both of those together and then once they are cured I'll go in with the second coat of the glamour gel. I don't usually do the second coat of anything on camera. I'm just like, yeah, I'll do it off camera, but because this is so lovely, like I want to do it on camera because look, it just is so beautiful. And it's very rare that I get a full collection of something and actually love like everything in the collection. There's usually a couple of colours that I'm like, oh, I don't think I'd have those, but they're okay sort of thing. And I have them obviously just in case clients want them. Whereas these, I think there's 15 altogether and all of them are beautiful. So 
definitely worth it if you're questioning getting them or not obviously if you don't think you're going to use them don't get them <laughs> i used to buy things all the time just because i got carried away and wanted to have a huge collection and then when you've got the huge collection like it's all well and good like having stuff um but honestly i probably only use 40 percent of my collection of everything so it's nice to know it's there if anyone wants it, but the chances of me actually using it are quite slim because I've just got that much stuff. So try not to get too pressured into just buying things either for the fun of it or because you just feel like you should have it. There's so many things you can do with different types of nail art, you don't have to have all of it. But obviously having said that, these gels are just amazing so if you think you'd make use of them i'd highly recommend getting them because they're beautiful so i'm going to cure that again fully and then once that comes out we can move on to the next step which is going to be stamping so again i'm going to be using this plate and this image here i'm going to be using white gel white gel polish i'm not using white gel polish i'm using white stamping polish which is this one from mo you i get it from amazon and then i'm just going to grab a Damper and a scraper obviously you can use whichever one of those you want i've got that many different scrapers from different places they all do the exact same thing you don't even need one really just an old card like bank card would do because they all do the same thing as long as it's something with a straight edge that's not too flimsy that's all you need so i'm just going to quickly wipe off my brush to get the majority of that color out so i can pop it away instead of putting my arm in it by accident at some point because i know that i will and then I'm just making sure that my stamper that I'm going to be using is clean by just rolling it over a lint, a lint roller. And then it's nice and clean. I'm going to try and do as much of the stamping on camera as I can. But as you'll know, if you've been following me for a while, my phone is a nightmare and hates stamping plates because they reflect the light. So I'm going to try and get the image just here in this corner so you can just about see it. I'm going to clean off my plate to make sure there's nothing on there, no previous product or anything at all. I'm just going to use some acetone on a cotton pad. And once I've done that, I'm going over with my finger to make sure that there's no cotton on there from this pad because that can interrupt our image. So I'm also going to remove the tacky layer from the area that I'm going to be applying the stamp in. So I'm just going to go down the side of this nail and go straight over with a lint free wipe which is actually a wax strip that's got a bit of acetone on and i'm just getting rid of that tacky layer i'm making a mess in the process i'm just doing that so my stamping sticks better and then i'm going to get my scraper and my stamper near me so i'm ready to go i'm going to get my white polish pop some at the top of the image making sure there's enough i can pull over the rest of the image pull it down at a 45 degree angle and rolling it over and then this is what the image looks like on my stamper now i need to figure out where i want it i'm probably gonna go with this area of the stamp like so, I'm just going to pop that flat and then I'm going to get a clean up brush and just very quickly go down that where the glitter is to get that off. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm going to do it again anyway. So that's what that looks like at the moment. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So again, just getting my lint roller, rolling my stamper across it until there's nothing left on my stamper. I'm going to get my cotton pad again to get the excess product off. It's not going to work to do it again because the indent will be filled with polish. And then again, just get some white. Scrape at a 45 degree angle. Roll over my stamper. And then I'm going to go with about there. Like so. And then I'm going to get this out of the way so I definitely don't miss this bit on camera again this time because I don't know whether I caught it last time. I've got a bit of acetone on this clean up brush and I'm just going to do a quick swipe along where I don't want that polish to be. I'm just going to do one more 
move over a little bit more this time get rid of that I'm not worried about this line here because we're going to be covering that with the next step so this is what they look like so far very cute and this time i'm going in with some flexi tape now so i'm going to be going in with black and white i'm going to do white first and the white is going to go over my copper basically so i'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut where I need. So I want a thin line of white. So I'm going to cut about here, straight across two, because I need two pieces for these nails. I'm going to get my tweezers, make sure they're nice and clean. And then I'm going to lift off the tape. And then I'm going to get the one that I want to stick it to and I'm going to pop it straight on like so. Pull off the excess. That's that one and then we'll do the next one. Again, placing it in the same place as the last nail, which I'd say is about there. If you get one end stuck down, it's a lot easier to do the rest then. There we go. I'm just going to make sure that's all stuck. And then again, pull off the excess. Slap's super easy, so it's really easy to use. And then I'm going to go in with the black, which is going to cover this line where the bronzy colour meets the details so I'm gonna cut how much I need or I'm gonna guess how much I need anyway probably guess wrong but never mind and then we're gonna apply that to the nail I think I actually have cut it a bit short which is frustrating have I yes I have very useful it's fine we're going with it so I'm gonna place that at the top where I need it first even though the bottom fell down as well. There we go. So I'm just going to place that there, put some pressure on the end to make sure it's stuck. Just lifted the bloody design off there, that was cool. I mean, it wasn't cool, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm just pressing that down and then I'm going to get a little bit more just to fill that end bit in. So just ignore how bad that's going to look. And that is why you should measure it up instead of just going for it. But it's fine, it's nothing that can't be fixed, so we're all good. I mean, I love how sticky it is when you don't want it to stick, and then it just doesn't want to stick to anything when you do. That is really annoying. Definitely use this as a lesson to measure up instead of being lazy because it just ends up a lot harder than it would have been if you'd have done it properly. But there you go. Let's see if this piece is long enough. Probably not, just to wind me up. There you go. And then again, it's placing it where I want it at the top first. She says, easier said than done, clearly. I'm making it look a lot harder than it is. We're just going to place that there oh that's perfect well wasn't even looking at how unstraight it was i was just looking at the length there we go length of that one is fine not really bothered about that top bit because i'll just seal it in on a top coat so this is what they look like at the moment and then what i'm going to do just to bring some of the bronze color into the other sides of the nail is i'm going to get my dotting tool and I'm going to put a dot. So I'm going to pop some dots 
I did just film me doing the dots on the other nail. Well, I thought I was filming myself doing the dots on the other nail and I looked up and pressed pause and I actually pressed play. So I don't know when I last filmed. God knows. I'll find out when I come to uh, edit. So that'll be fun. But there we go. So here's what they both look like. I've missed a little flower there. That's a really, really tiny flower there that I've missed out. This is what they look like. Very cute. I'm going to pop those in the lamp to cure those little tiny dots of the Glamour Gel. And I'm going to tidy up and top coat off camera. And then I will show you what they look like at the end. So here's what they look like now they are fully top coated. I absolutely love how they turned out. I think they're so pretty. Um, love that floral, uh, what's it called, stamp. And I also love, obviously, the Brill Bird Glamour Gels. They are just beautiful. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll be back really soon with another one. Bye.